Three-phase electric power is a common method of alternating current electric power generation, transmission, and distribution. It is a type of polyphase system and is the most common method used by electrical grids worldwide to transfer power. It is also used to power large motors and other heavy loads. A three-wire three-phase circuit is usually more economical than an equivalent two-wire single-phase circuit at the same line to ground voltage because it uses less conductor material to transmit a given amount of electrical power. Polyphase power systems were independently invented by Galileo Ferraris, Mikhail Delevo Dobrovolsky, Jonas Wenstrom, John Hopkinson, and Nikola Tesla in the late 1880s. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Principle. In a symmetric three-phase power supply system, three conductors each carry an alternating current of the same frequency and voltage amplitude relative to a common reference but with a phase difference of one-third of a cycle between each. The common reference is usually connected to ground and often to a current-carrying conductor called the neutral. Due to the phase difference, the voltage on any conductor reaches its peak at one-third of a cycle after one of the other conductors and one-third of a cycle before the remaining conductor. This phase delay gives constant power transfer to a balanced linear load. It also makes it possible to produce a rotating magnetic field in an electric motor and generate other phase arrangements using transformers for instance, a two-phase system using a Scott T transformer. The amplitude of the voltage difference between two phases is 3 times the amplitude of the voltage of the individual phases. The symmetric three-phase systems described here are simply referred to as three-phase systems because, although it is possible to design and implement asymmetric three-phase power systems i.e., with unequal voltages or phase shifts, they are not used in practice because they lack the most important advantages of symmetric systems. In a three-phase system feeding a balanced and linear load, the sum of the instantaneous currents of the three conductors is zero. In other words, the current in each conductor is equal in magnitude to the sum of the currents in the other two, but with the opposite sign. The return path for the current in any phase conductor is the other two phase conductors. Advantages As compared to a single-phase AC power supply that uses two conductors phase and neutral, a three-phase supply with no neutral and the same phase to ground voltage and current capacity per phase can transmit three times as much power using just 1.5 times as many wires i.e., three instead of two. Thus, the ratio of capacity to conductor material is doubled. The ratio of capacity to conductor material increases to 3 to 1 with an ungrounded three-phase and center-grounded single-phase system or 2.25, one if both employ grounds of the same gauge as the conductors. Constant power transfer and cancelling phase currents would in theory be possible with any number greater than one of phases, maintaining the capacity to conductor material ratio that is twice that of single phase power. However, two-phase power results in a less smooth, pulsating, torque in a generator or motor making smooth power transfer a challenge, and more than three phases complicates infrastructure unnecessarily. Three-phase systems may also have a fourth wire, particularly in low-voltage distribution. This is the neutral wire. The neutral allows three separate single-phase supplies to be provided at a constant voltage and is commonly used for supplying groups of domestic properties which are each single-phase loads. 
The connections are arranged so that, as far as possible in each group, equal power is drawn from each phase. Further up the distribution system, the currents are usually well balanced. Transformers may be wired in a way that they have a four-wire secondary but a three-wire primary while allowing unbalanced loads and the associated secondary side neutral currents. Three-phase supplies have properties that make them very desirable in electric power distribution systems. The phase currents tend to cancel out one another, summing to zero in the case of a linear balanced load. This makes it possible to reduce the size of the neutral conductor because it carries little or no current. With a balanced load, all the phase conductors carry the same current and so can be the same size. Power transfer into a linear balanced load is constant, which helps to reduce generator and motor vibrations. Three-phase systems can produce a rotating magnetic field with a specified direction and constant magnitude, which simplifies the design of electric motors, as no starting circuit is required, most household loads are single-phase. In North American residences, three-phase power might feed a multiple-unit apartment block, but the household loads are connected only as single-phase. In lower density areas, only a single phase might be used for distribution. Some high power domestic appliances such as electric stoves and clothes dryers are powered by a split phase system at 240 volts or from two phases of a three phase system at 208 volts. Topic: <laughs> Phase sequence. Wiring for the three phases is typically identified by color codes which vary by country. Connection of the phases in the right order is required to ensure the intended direction of rotation of three-phase motors. For example, pumps and fans may not work in reverse. Maintaining the identity of phases is required if there is any possibility two sources can be connected at the same time. A direct interconnection between two different phases is a short circuit. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Generation and distribution. At the power station, an electrical generator converts mechanical power into a set of three AC electric currents, one from each coil or winding of the generator. The windings are arranged such that the currents vary sinusoidally at the same frequency but with the peaks and troughs of their wave forms offset to provide three complementary currents with a phase separation of one-third cycle 120 degrees or 2 pi, 3 radians. The generator frequency is typically 50 or 60 Hz, depending on the country. At the power station, transformers change the voltage from generators to a level suitable for transmission in order to minimize losses. After further voltage conversions in the transmission network, the voltage is finally transformed to the standard utilization before power is supplied to customers. Most automotive alternators generate three phase AC and rectify it to DC with a diode bridge. Topic: Transformer connections. A delta connected transformer winding is connected between phases of a three-phase system. A Y transformer connects each winding from a phase wire to a common neutral point. A single three-phase transformer can be used, or three single-phase transformers. In an open delta or V system, only two transformers are used. A closed delta made of three single phase transformers can operate as an open delta if one of the transformers has failed or needs to be removed. 
In open delta, each transformer must carry current for its respective phases as well as current for the third phase, therefore capacity is reduced to 87%. With one of three transformers missing and the remaining two at 87% efficiency, the capacity is 58%, two-thirds of 87%, where a delta-fed system must be grounded for detection of stray current to ground or protection from surge voltages. A grounding transformer, usually a zigzag transformer, may be connected to allow ground fault currents to return from any phase to ground. Another variation is a corner grounded delta system, which is a closed delta that is grounded at one of the junctions of transformers. Topic: <laughs> 3 wire and 4 wire circuits. There are two basic three-phase configurations, y, y and delta, delta. As shown in the diagram, a delta configuration requires only three wires for transmission but a Y star configuration may have a fourth wire. The fourth wire, if present, is provided as a neutral and is normally grounded. The three-wire and four-wire Designations do not count the ground wire present above many transmission lines, which is solely for fault protection and does not carry current under normal use. A four-wire system with symmetrical voltages between phase and neutral is obtained when the neutral is connected to the common star point of all supply windings. In such a system, all three phases will have the same magnitude of voltage relative to the neutral. Other non-symmetrical systems have been used. The four-wire Y system is used when a mixture of single phase and three phase loads are to be served, such as mixed lighting and motor loads. An example of application is local distribution in Europe and elsewhere, where each customer may be only fed from one phase and the neutral which is common to the three phases. When a group of customers sharing the neutral draw unequal phase currents, the common neutral wire carries the currents resulting from these imbalances. Electrical engineers try to design the three-phase power system for any one location so that the power drawn from each of three phases is the same, as far as possible at that site. Electrical engineers also try to arrange the distribution network so the loads are balanced as much as possible, since the same principles that apply to individual premises also apply to the wide-scale distribution system power. Hence, every effort is made by supply authorities to distribute the power drawn on each of the three phases over a large number of premises so that, on average, as nearly as possible a balanced load is seen at the point of supply. For domestic use, some countries such as the UK may supply one phase and neutral at a high current up to 100A to one property, while others such as Germany may supply three phases and neutral to each customer, but at a lower fuse rating, typically 40 to 63A per phase, and rotated to avoid the effect that more load tends to be put on the first phase. In North America, a high leg delta supply is sometimes used where one winding of a delta connected transformer feeding the load is center tapped and that center tap is grounded and connected as a neutral as shown in the second diagram. This setup produces three different voltages, if the voltage between the center tap neutral and each of the top and bottom taps phase and anti -phase is 120 volts 100%, the voltage across the phase and anti-phase lines is 240 volts 200%, and the neutral to high leg Voltage is approximately equals 208 volts 173%. The reason for providing the delta connected supply is usually to power large motors requiring a rotating field. However, the premises concerned will also require the normal 
North American 120 volt supplies, two of which are derived 180 degrees out of phase between the neutral and either of the center tapped phase points. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Balanced circuits. In the perfectly balanced case all three lines share equivalent loads. Examining the circuits we can derive relationships between line voltage and current, and load voltage and current for Y and delta connected loads. In a balanced system each line will produce equal voltage magnitudes at phase angles equally spaced from each other. With V1 as our reference and V3 lagging V2 lagging V1, using angle notation, and VLN the voltage between the line and the neutral we have V1 equals V lane 0 Display style v underscore one equals v underscore text lane angle zero caret circ v two equals v lane minus one hundred twenty. Display style v underscore two equals v underscore text lane angle minus one hundred twenty caret circ V three equals V lane plus one hundred twenty Display style V underscore three equals V underscore text lane angle plus one two O carrot circ These voltages feed into either a Y or delta connected load. Topic Y Y also called star. The voltage seen by the load will depend on the load connection. For the Y case, connecting each load to a phase line to neutral voltages gives I one equals V one Z total. Minus theta display style i underscore one equals frac v underscore one z underscore text total angle theta i two equals v two z total minus one hundred twenty Minus theta display style i underscore two equals frac v underscore two z underscore text total angle minus one hundred twenty caret circ theta i three equals v three z total one hundred twenty minus theta display style i underscore three equals frac v underscore three z underscore text total angle one hundred twenty caret circ theta where z total is the sum of line and load impedances z total equals z l n plus z y, and theta is the phase of the total impedance z total. The phase angle difference between voltage and current of each phase is not necessarily zero and is dependent on the type of load impedance, z y. Inductive and capacitive loads will cause current to either lag or lead the voltage. However, the relative phase angle between each pair of lines 1 to 2, 2 to 3, and 3 to 1 will still be minus 120 degrees. By applying Kirchhoff's current law KCL to the neutral node, the three phase currents sum to the total current in the neutral line. In the balanced case, I 
1 plus i 2 plus i 3 equals i n equals 0 Display style I underscore one plus I underscore two plus I underscore three equals I underscore text N equals zero. Topic Delta Delta In the delta circuit, loads are connected across the lines, and so loads see line to line voltages V 12 equals v 1 minus v 2 equals v lane 0 minus v lane minus 120 equals Three V lane thirty equals three V one Phi V one plus thirty V twenty three equals V Two minus V three equals V lane minus one hundred twenty minus V lane one hundred twenty equals three V lane minus 90 equals 3 v 2 phi v 2 plus 30 v 31 equals v 3 minus V one equals V lane one hundred twenty minus V lane zero equals three V lane one hundred fifty equals three V three five V three plus thirty display style begin aligned V underscore twelve and equals V underscore one V underscore two equals V underscore text lane angle zero carat circ V underscore text lane angle minus one hundred twenty carat circ and equals SQRT three V underscore text lane angle thirty carat circ equals SQRT R T three V underscore one angle Phi underscore V underscore one plus three O carat circ V underscore twenty three and equals V underscore two V underscore three equals V underscore text lane angle minus one hundred twenty carat circ V underscore text lane angle one hundred twenty carat circ and equals SQRT three V underscore text lane Angle minus ninety carat circ equals SQRT three V underscore two angle Phi underscore V underscore two plus three O carat circ V underscore thirty one and equals V underscore three V underscore one equals V underscore text lane angle one hundred twenty carat circ V underscore text lane angle zero carat circ and equals SQ 
wrt 3 v underscore text lane angle 150 carat circ equals sqrt 3 v underscore 3 angle phi underscore v underscore 3 plus 3 o carat circ end aligned 5v1 is the phase shift for the first voltage, commonly taken to be 0 degrees, in this case 5v2. Topic: minus 120 degrees and 5v3. Minus 240 degrees or 120 degrees. Further, I 12 equals v 12 z delta 30 minus theta display style i underscore 12 equals frac v underscore 12 z underscore delta angle 30 caret circ theta i 23 equals v 23 z delta minus 90 minus theta Display style i underscore 23 equals frac v underscore 23 z underscore delta angle minus 90 caret circ theta i 31 equals v 3 1 z delta 150 Minus theta display style i underscore thirty one equals frac v underscore thirty one z underscore delta angle one hundred fifty caret circ theta, where theta is the phase of delta impedance z delta. Relative angles are preserved, so i thirty one lags i twenty three lags i twelve by one hundred twenty degrees. Calculating line currents by using KCL at each delta node gives I1 equals I12 minus I31 equals I12 minus I12 120 equals 3I12 phi I12 minus 30 equals 3I12 minus theta display style begin aligned I underscore 1 and equals I underscore twelve I underscore thirty one equals I underscore twelve I underscore twelve angle one hundred twenty carat circ and equals SQRT three I underscore twelve angle phi underscore I underscore twelve minus thirty carat circ equals SQRT three I underscore twelve angle theta end aligned and similarly for each other line I two equals three I twenty three Phi I twenty three minus thirty equals three I twenty three minus one hundred twenty minus theta. Display style I underscore two equals SQRT three I underscore twenty three angle Phi underscore I underscore twenty three minus thirty carat circ equals SQRT three I underscore twenty three angle minus one hundred twenty carat circ theta I three equals 3 I 31 Phi I 31 minus 30 equals 3 I 31 120 minus theta Display style I underscore three equals SQRT three I underscore thirty one angle Phi underscore I underscore thirty one minus thirty carat circ equals SQRT three I underscore thirty one angle one hundred twenty carat circ theta where again theta is the phase of delta impedance Z delta 
inspection of a phasor diagram, or conversion from phasor notation to complex notation, illuminates how the difference between two line to neutral voltages yields a line to line voltage that is greater by a factor of square root 3. As a delta configuration connects a load across phases of a transformer, it delivers the line to line voltage difference, which is square root 3 times greater than the line to neutral voltage delivered to a load in the Y configuration. As the power transferred is V2, Z, the impedance in the delta configuration must be 3 times what it would be in a Y configuration for the same power to be transferred. Topic: Single phase loads. Except in a high leg delta system, single phase loads may be connected across any two phases, or a load can be connected from phase to neutral. Distributing single phase loads among the phases of a three phase system balances the load and makes most economical use of conductors and transformers. In a symmetrical three-phase four-wire, Y system, the three-phase conductors have the same voltage to the system neutral. The voltage between line conductors is square root 3 times the phase conductor to neutral voltage V L L equals 3 V lane Display style v underscore text ll equals sqrt 3 v underscore text lane. The currents returning from the customer's premises to the supply transformer all share the neutral wire. If the loads are evenly distributed on all three phases, the sum of the returning currents in the neutral wire is approximately zero. Any unbalanced phase loading on the secondary side of the transformer will use the transformer capacity inefficiently. If the supply neutral is broken, phase to neutral voltage is no longer maintained. Phases with higher relative loading will experience reduced voltage, and phases with lower relative loading will experience elevated voltage, up to the phase to phase voltage. A high leg delta provides phase to neutral relationship of VLL. Topic: 2 VLN. However, lane load is imposed on one phase. A transformer manufacturer's page suggests that lane loading not exceed 5% of transformer capacity, since square root 3 approximately equals 1.73, defining VLN as 100% gives VLL approximately equals 100% times 1.73. One hundred seventy three per cent. If VLL was set as one hundred per cent, then VLN approximately equals fifty seven point seven per cent. Topic Unbalanced loads. When the currents on the three live wires of a three-phase system are not equal or are not at an exact 120 degrees phase angle, the power loss is greater than for a perfectly balanced system. The method of symmetrical components is used to analyze unbalanced systems. Nonlinear loads. With linear loads, the neutral only carries the current due to imbalance between the phases. Gas discharge lamps and devices that utilize rectifier capacitor front end such as switch mode power supplies, computers, office equipment and such produce third-order harmonics that are in phase on all the supply phases. Consequently, such harmonic currents add in the neutral in a Y system or in the grounded zigzag transformer in a delta system, which can cause the neutral current to exceed the phase current. Topic: 
Topic: <laughs> Three-phase loads. An important class of three-phase load is the electric motor. A three-phase induction motor has a simple design, inherently high starting torque and high efficiency. Such motors are applied in industry for many applications. A three-phase motor is more compact and less costly than a single-phase motor of the same voltage class and rating, and single-phase AC motors above 10 HP are uncommon. Three-phase motors also vibrate less and hence last longer than single-phase motors of the same power used under the same conditions. Resistance heating loads such as electric boilers or space heating may be connected to three-phase systems. Electric lighting may also be similarly connected. Line frequency flicker in light is detrimental to high-speed cameras used in sports event broadcasting for slow motion replays. It can be reduced by evenly spreading line frequency operated light sources across the three phases so that the illuminated area is lit from all three phases. This technique was applied successfully at the 2008 Beijing Olympics. Rectifiers may use a three phase source to produce a six pulse DC output. The output of such rectifiers is much smoother than rectified single phase and, unlike single phase, does not drop to zero between pulses. Such rectifiers may be used for battery charging, electrolysis processes such as aluminium production or for operation of DC motors. Zigzag transformers may make the equivalent of six-phase full-wave rectification, 12 pulses per cycle, and this method is occasionally employed to reduce the cost of the filtering components, while improving the quality of the resulting DC. One example of a three-phase load is the electric arc furnace used in steelmaking and in refining of ores. In many European countries electric stoves are usually designed for a three-phase feed. Individual heating units are often connected between phase and neutral to allow for connection to a single-phase circuit if three-phase is not available. Other usual three-phase loads in the domestic field are tankless water heating systems and storage heaters. Homes in Europe and the UK have standardised on a nominal 230 volts between any phase and ground. Existing supplies remain near 240 volts in the UK, and 220 volts on much of the continent. Most groups of houses are fed from a three phase street transformer so that individual premises with above average demand can be fed with a second or third phase connection. <laughs> phase converters Phase converters are used when three-phase equipment needs to be operated on a single-phase power source. They are used when three-phase power is not available or cost is not justifiable. Such converters may also allow the frequency to be varied, allowing speed control. Some railway locomotives use a single phase source to drive three phase motors fed through an electronic drive. A rotary phase converter is a three phase motor with special starting arrangements and power factor correction that produces balanced three phase voltages. When properly designed, these rotary converters can allow satisfactory operation of a three phase motor on a single phase source. In such a device, the energy storage is performed by the inertia flywheel effect of the rotating components. An external flywheel is sometimes found on one or both ends of the shaft. A three-phase generator can be driven by a single-phase motor. This motor generator combination can provide a frequency changer function as well as phase conversion, but requires two machines with all their expenses and losses. 
The motor generator method can also form an uninterruptible power supply when used in conjunction with a large flywheel and a battery-powered DC motor, such a combination will deliver nearly constant power compared to the temporary frequency drop experienced with a standby generator set gives until the standby generator kicks in. Capacitors and autotransformers can be used to approximate a three-phase system in a static phase converter, but the voltage and phase angle of the additional phase may only be useful for certain loads. Variable frequency drives and digital phase converters use power electronic devices to synthesize a balanced three-phase supply from single-phase input power. Alternatives to three-phase Split-phase electric power is used when three-phase power is not available and allows double the normal utilization voltage to be supplied for high power loads. Two-phase electric power uses two AC voltages, with a 90 electrical degree phase shift between them. Two-phase circuits may be wired with two pairs of conductors, or two wires may be combined, requiring only three wires for the circuit. Currents in the common conductor add to 1.4 times the current in the individual phases, so the common conductor must be larger. Two-phase and three-phase systems can be interconnected by a Scott T transformer, invented by Charles F. Scott. Very early AC machines, notably the first generators at Niagara Falls, used a two-phase system, and some remnant two-phase distribution systems still exist, but three-phase systems have displaced the two-phase system for modern installations. Monocyclic power was a name for an asymmetrical modified two-phase power system used by General Electric around 1897, championed by Charles Proteus Steinmetz and Elihu Thompson. This system was devised to avoid patent infringement. In this system, a generator was wound with a full voltage single phase winding intended for lighting loads and with a small fraction, usually one quarter of the line voltage, winding that produced a voltage in quadrature with the main windings. The intention was to use this power wire additional winding to provide starting torque for induction motors with the main winding providing power for lighting loads. After the expiration of the Westinghouse patents on symmetrical two-phase and three-phase power distribution systems, the monocyclic system fell out of use, it was difficult to analyze and did not last long enough for satisfactory energy metering to be developed. High-phase order systems for power transmission have been built and tested. Such transmission lines typically would use six or twelve phases. High phase order transmission lines allow transfer of slightly less than proportionately higher power through a given volume without the expense of a high voltage direct current HVDC converter at each end of the line. However, they require correspondingly more pieces of equipment. Topic: <laughs> Color codes. Conductors of a three-phase system are usually identified by a color code, to allow for balanced loading and to assure the correct phase rotation for motors. Colors used may adhere to International Standard IEC 60446 now merged into IEC 60445, older standards or to no standard at all and may vary even within a single installation. For example, in the US and Canada, different color codes are used for grounded earthed and ungrounded systems. Topic: See also Industrial and multiphase power plugs and sockets. International Electrotechnical Exhibition 3 phase 
Three phase AC railway electrification. Y delta transform. Equals equals notes. <laughs>